Hi, I'm Tiffany and this is The Balanced Life. And today we're gonna to talk about what does it take to win in your family budget? I wanna officially welcome you into my world in this video. I'm gonna share three things that finally changed my life from reacting to circumstances to creating the circumstances that I wanted in my life. This is the first of five videos and I'm sharing this week specifically to show how our family broke cycles of being just over broke. I've heard the word job um, described as just over broke, and that was our reality for a decade. So yesterday I was reading about a, a stand-up comics, stand-up comedy, and the effort they put into their performances. I found it interesting because I'm not really personally that funny, but they make it seem so effortless. You know, there's people you know that are just funny. What the audience doesn't get to see and what I learned in this article is that they constantly are working to refine their jokes behind the scenes for a long time. Sometimes it takes like a year for them to get their uh, material down in a way that they want to present it. And in the same way, um, I really invested a lot of time trying to figure out how to create a family budget that let us live in a way where we weren't deprived, but we also had money left over to build real streams of income. Most of my effort focused on deprivation and extra work. So you get that cutting back and overtime. I would constantly say no to the wants and even sometimes to needs and then work multiple jobs. And my husband worked overtime in multiple jobs hoping to eventually get ahead. I got into trouble with debt when the perfect storm of an international special needs adoption, my husband's cancer diagnosis, and the Great Recession all hit us within a single year from about uh, mid-2005 to about 2007. So I guess it's just a little over a year. Lots of you are experiencing that right now with what's happened the last couple of years, like getting your hours cut and even with some stimulus things helping, you're finding that with inflation and gas prices and everything, it's, it's just not happening. We went years driving old vehicles to save on car payments only to pay hundreds of dollars a month in repairs. We ate frugally, we changed jobs, you know, you can relate. So people only notice you when you come out at the other side of success. And they say, oh, of course you succeed. You're so awesome at this. You've done so well. And they don't always see what goes into that, like the process. So what ultimately accelerated our success was a tweak in the way we were thinking. And I've talked about this in some previous videos, and I'm really emphasizing this right now. Um, that's what this channel is really about, sharing what I learned since the last Great Recession 15 years ago so that I don't have to be a part of the suffering that's happening right now. And it really does start with a mindset. And I don't mean like wishful thinking. I mean focused thinking. So yes, it took me a lot of time, quite a bit of money to come up with a decent system. But what I learned from um, this guy named Sam, he has some videos, um, he's on YouTube and things like that, was the last puzzle piece. So I linked to his video below um, and you can see that. But it really started with Robert Kiyosaki's book, Rich Dad, which opened my mind to the idea of good debt versus bad debt. And then the rat race versus the fast track. And I'll share more of that later this week. But what was always missing was how to take the first step. And so in this video right now, I'm going to start to talk about that. Step one, I identified the problems in my thinking. Step two, I got education. So some of that was formal education to um, improve my husband's job situation and increase his pay. Although at first, I want you to understand this, at first it took us backwards. Not just when he was going through school, but when he got his initial new job. It was a pay cut because remember, we were used to working a lot of overtime and things. So don't get discouraged if it looks like you're going backwards at first. Just keep watching. Yeah. Step three, I made changes to the way I paid my bills 
and approached my entire life to consider not just money cost, but opportunity cost. And I had said that I was doing that as recently as 12 years ago, but really I wasn't. I was focusing on the money. So I've done this over and over and over and over for the last 15 years. In fact, the last 12 months, I've done it every single month, these three steps. The three steps of identifying problems in my thinking, getting the education I need to overcome that, and make changes in the way I approach my entire life. Um, I wanted to succeed and I realized my excuses and my own limitations were what stopped me. It was not other people. Once you realize it's not circumstances or people that are stopping you, it's your approach to it, it's going to bust stuff open. That's why I'm recommending so much that you get into some of these resources and start thinking about things. Um, if that's your attitude, if you realize that your changes will bring about changes in your life, then I can help you. This series of five videos is going to be um, an opportunity for you to start to make that shift and make changes. I'll be digging in deep this week, but your first step is to do step one like this. So listen to exactly how I'm telling you to do it. Number one, watch the video in my description about paying off your mortgage faster. Whether you want to do that or not, try to think differently and see that way and compare it to the way you've been doing things. This will help you in other areas. Remember how I said good debt versus bad debt, fast track versus rat race, mortgage versus HELOC is what this is going to talk about and see how it might shift some of your thinking. So that's number one. It'll ask you for an email, just an FYI, to put in to be able to unlock the video. Step two, look through my videos on my channel and pick one or two topics and watch those videos. Don't go binge watching a bunch of videos on my channel, but pick one or two things, whether it's how my kids started their chicken business, whether it's how to save time with grocery shopping, whether it's helping others through reforming food banks, or any of the other kinds of things I have on that page, just pick one or two videos or topics that you would like to learn from. Then share your ideas and questions in the comment, if in the comments below, if you feel comfortable, because that's the easiest way for me to address questions for future videos. So do you want to find out how I can help take your life and family to the next level, like I did with mine? then hit the subscribe button and the bell so that you get my next video. If you're watching this on the archive, then the next one will be called My Confidence Was Shattered After This, But I Picked Myself Up. I don't want you to miss it. Um, again, click the bell so you don't. And if you're watching this on archive, go over and find that video now. Make that one of your two. And we'll continue on with this discussion. Do those three steps. Do it in the way I showed you. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for your time. Bye.